Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I'm Marco D'Angelo, joined in studio with Tony Finn. We're going to talk about baseball, and we're going to – Tony, you've had a good baseball season uh, so far. Knock on wood, keep it rolling. Wanted to ask you, what are – I know you look at a lot of things, but if you had to narrow it down for somebody just beginning and things to look at, what are the top three things you like to look at when handicapping baseball? Before I even tell you the top three things, I will say that – I avoid some stats that are, in my opinion, mirages. They're illusions, ERA, mm -hmm. um, WHIP. Uh, WHIP's not so much as ERA, but ERA is probably one of the most misleading stats in, in baseball. Uh, and while I have, do have a long list of stats that I look at, sabermetric stats, underlying peripherals that, uh, that are like anything in life, a lot of times we try to avoid things that are complicated or seem complicated until we get adjusted and comfortable with them. Mm -hmm. Uh, in pitchers, the most simplistic stat I look at really is is matchup dependent. Is it is a certain team prone to strike out more than a certain team? Is that pitcher they're facing, the starting pitcher in question here, or be said, are they do they have a, a high K rate? What's their swing and miss rate? Those kind of things. But first and foremost, left-handed, right-handed pitching. Uh, there are certain teams that are right-handed heavy. This, for an example, this year the Yankees. Uh, for having a short right field porch there at New Yankee Stadium, mm -hmm. they're right-handed heavy. Uh, the first time, I think, I can't remember the exact number, but I think in 20 years they've had more right-handed hitters uh, that would be their prototypical lineup as opposed to left-handers, and which is an aberration to some degree. So left-handed, right-handed pitching. Secondly, uh, I look, as opposed to ERA, I look at Sierra and FIP, XFIP, which are sabermetrics, and we could probably spend 20 minutes discussing yeah. all those. Uh, thirdly, is hard contact rate. Is there a team that is a slap team? Do they hit a lot of home runs? There's so many different variables we look at, but for the most part, uh, I avoid ERA. I look at matchups, left-handed, right-handed pitching, uh, how a team does in, in question against those pitching. And, and secondly, the pitching staff's versus hitters. Some of the past records, there's history there, and history, in baseball, history repeats itself uh, much more than any other sport, in my opinion, uh, simply because of the 162-game season. So uh, if, it, if you're going to self-handicap and you're going to do baseball, I strongly suggest you avoid looking at ERA and that you do some work on understanding Sierra, FIP, X, and XFIP. And thirdly, is and this may seem strange, a starting pitcher, as long as they're averaging six innings, uh, which is, to, in this day and age, less than it used to be mm -hmm. 20 years ago, how a pitcher handles pitching from the windup or the runners on base from the stretch. There's, there are some large variables that come into play there. And while it's not something that is readily available uh, by going to ESPN or mm -hmm. one of the major portals, um, there are stats out there that, that are readily available, whether you pay a pay service or a free service, that will really help you uh, understand the game of baseball and how, how it's how it's not just a simply boring Sunday afternoon. That it's a chess match per se, and with that comes a lot of work. All right, good stuff, Tony. And uh, don't forget at Wager Talk every Monday, it's Manic Monday. You can get any play at Wager Talk for just nine dollars, and that even includes the big five percent plays. Those plays normally sell for $30. You'll get it on Monday, just $9. Check it out each and every Monday at Wager Talk. We'll be back with more here on wagertalk.com.